Hello, welcome. My name's Tina and this is Simply in Stitches. Now, I'm usually quite a lazy sock knitter. I do love a self-striping vanilla sock. It's my go-to for when I don't, I want to knit, but I don't want to have to think about it because I've knit so many socks, it just comes easily now. But next year, 2023, I really want to change it up a bit and make a bit more effort and try some different patterns. So I have been looking in my Ravelry, Ravelry queue <laughs> and picked out 10 patterns that I want to knit next year. So I thought I would like to share them with you to see if there's anything you would like to knit. All of the patterns are free to download. I should put links down below. Let's dive straight in and find out what they are. They're in no particular order. It's just a list of the ones I'd like to knit. So the first ones are called the Fidget Socks and they're by Amy Stringer. This one caught my eye because I like the way the yarn goes across. It's got a different stitch to it. So it's got that lovely texture and I just thought that was a really interesting look. So I thought I would like to give those ones a go. So in the description, it boasts a simple, easily memorised pattern is fun and relaxing to knit. So it's a take on a basket weave stitch. So it's eliminated some of the purling, but not all of the purling. I don't mind purling. I'm an English knitter. I'm a thrower. And I don't think people who knit, I could be wrong, <laughs> people who knit that style, I don't think it's we mind purling as much as continental knitters because it's it doesn't seem any different. I'm not going to go into that. I'm not going to go into the purling issue. Let's stick to the socks. So that's my first choice, the fidget socks. So the next ones are called the Cozy Autumn Socks by This Handmade Life. And this one has a really lovely lace pattern down it. It's on the back and the front. So a lot of people have put five stars for this pattern. It's a very well-loved pattern and the average difficulty is very low. So it must be quite an easy pattern to memorize and do the lace, which is good. That's what I look for in a lace pattern. <laughs> it says it's only, the instructions are only for magic loop. I knit on circulars, but that doesn't really make any difference to me how the instructions are. I can usually work to any method because it's just round isn't it um, and it's charted only. I do prefer to have written instructions rather than a chart, it depends what the chart's like but I'm quite happy to write out the chart and then work from my writing out anyway. Um, some charts are easy to follow, some not so, so we shall see how that is but I presume from the feedback other people have given that it's going to be a good chart to work from. This next one is the Monkey Socks by Cookie A and they have a lovely pattern on as well. Sort of like, it reminds me of Art Deco. It's got that Art Deco look about it. I think that's what attracted me to it. So I don't know what colour I'd want to do these because I'd be thinking Art Deco colours. <laughs> but yeah, I think it, they look really nice. It's got a very striking pattern on them. Once again, the difficulty is slightly higher, but it's got five stars. Everyone's been really loving knitting these socks. Once again, it says there is a chart for the lace and it's a heel flap construction, this one. I must admit the name attracted me to these ones because it's called Socks on a Plane. And I thought, oh, these would be socks to knit on when I go on holiday on a plane and take them with me because they're mainly plain, <laughs> plain on a plane, but they've got this cable down the side. So I've never cabled on a small area like that. So that would be interesting. I don't know how much of it is a fake cable, how much is a proper cable. It says, once again, the feedback is that it's a simple pattern. So everyone's been getting on well with it. There has been 5,000 people reviewed it and it's got five stars. So I really love that. Most socks with patterns on, I think you're better off having a yarn that's plainer. But on these, I think it'd be interesting to see how that cable actually changes and because you'd see the actual lines going through. So I think that would be interesting to knit. I think these might be socks that I'd want to knit in a plain colour and also 
in a variegated yarn to see the difference and how that yarn comes out would be fun. Now these next socks, it's a technique I've never actually used. I know it's supposed to be simple, but it's just something that I've never come across in a pattern that I've been attracted to. So I really wanted to try, the Winwick Mum has got the easy mosaic socks. So it's colour work, but it's mosaic colour work. And I just think they look really interesting. They look quite complicated, but I know that they're not as complicated as they look because of the mosaic. So I'm really interested to have a go at that. It says here, she says here that when is colour work sock, not a colour work sock, when it's an easy mosaic sock. The whole thing about the colour work in with mosaic is you are only actually using one colour at a time. You're not using two. So that sounds like a lot of fun and yeah, I love the way they look. I think they really look different. And once again, I think they'd be exciting to do different colours to see how that changes them. So there's a lot of fun to be had with these socks, I think. I'm surprised there hasn't been more people who knit these. There's only been 106, there's only been 176 projects done on these. So I still think they definitely need a bit more love to have a go at these or something different. Winwick Mum, she works with West York. The Win Winwick Mum works for work Winwick oh <laughs> Winwick Mum works with West Yorkshire spinners. And so she has used their yarn, which is a favourite yarn sock yarn of mine. And she's used a solid and a self-striping. So that's just ideal that obviously I will use a solid and striping from them. <laughs> The next one's a shorty sock, perfect for summer, and this is Pink Lemonade. It is by Amy Rapp, and it's a lovely simple sock, but then it's got this little lace work that goes down the side. And it's supposed to be called Pink Lemonade because those are supposed to look like lemons. They look like lozenge lemons <laughs> down the side there. And yeah, I think that you could use a variety of yarns and obviously being shorty socks you don't need much yarn to make a shorty sock so i think they'll be perfect little stash buster for some socks in the warmer weather fun little design and you've only got a shorty sock with that bit down the foot so there wouldn't be a lot to do there it's got five stars again and it says it's quite easy to knit so that is just perfect these next ones are the Picnic Socks and they are by Noble Thread and they've got a really lovely sort of lace work that gives this really nice texture to the sock. On these model socks they're done in a striping so it's harder to see the actual lace work on it but as I say it just brings out that texture on the lace anyway. And this sock has got all different sizes, goes from baby right through to large adult. So you can knit them for all the family and have some fun socks. <laughs> They're top down with that lovely ripple effect on them. If you did it pink, you'd have raspberry ripple socks. <laughs> this next pattern is the library socks. So it's by the kitchen sink shop. It's got this lovely texture because going down the front of the foot is plain on the back. In the description that says that it's as easy to do as vanilla socks the pattern repeat is really simple to follow and very memorable which is always good five star rating again and it says people who have knitted it also say yes it's a very simple lovely sock i've seen podcasts where people have knit this sock and then they've gone on to knit more socks from this pattern then that always says that it's a good pattern that something's comfortable to wear and also fun to knit so that always means it's a good pattern to try out myself. It's recommended that these socks can be knit in a plain, in a speckled or in a stripe. I think I really like the stripe because once again it just shows how that patterning changes how it works. I find that really interesting when I'm knitting to see how the yarn changes if you put different stitches in how that how that colour work reacts to that so I'd love I would probably go for a patterned like a self-striping or so I might go for a self-striping but then I'd like to see what it looked like on a plane <laughs> who knows let's see what yarn I have at the time and we've come to the final one this is the Woodland Walk socks by Handmade Life and these shout out to me to knit them in green because they've got that lovely like it's like leaves coming down, like an ivy, well, they're not ivy shaped, but you know when ivy's like hanging, like a climber. 
climber. <laughs> so yes, um, I would love to knit these in a green. They've just got that panel down the sock, which I think would be lovely, whether a supple whether there is subtle shading of different greens or just a block green, I just think that would be lovely. They would also work well in other colours, obviously, but that's what pits me, first of all, that I'd love to knit them in that colour. Other colours are available. <laughs> Once again, this is a five star pattern and it says it's easy to follow. The designer has put here that the like the leaves falling from the trees as winter sets in and autumn says its last goodbye. The leaf pattern reminds me of just those leaves once they have fallen and the woods are quiet and only the crunch of those leaves underfoot. So she was thinking more of leaves on the ground rather than trailing up. But I definitely think they are trailing up the leg. <laughs> So that's it. Those are the socks I would like to knit in 2023. Is there I forgot one. <laughs> so I'm sliding this bit of footage. I'm recording the day after into it. And this is a bit of a bonus one because it's not really a pattern that's different or anything. It's a vanilla sock, but it's the DK one from... I was going to use the Crazy Sock Lady K. The Crazy Sock Lady has a pattern for a DK sock. And I've never done a DK sock. I know it's just different numbers, so I'm not going to be following it too closely. But it's just the fact that I really want some thicker socks to wear in my wellies when I'm going for walks and things in the winter period. So I thought, yes, some nice socks. But what I was thinking about doing is changing it up a bit and using two different colours of four ply and holding that double so I get a different texture to it just to make it a little bit a different colour sorry not texture just so I get that variation perhaps use up some scraps or something just to make them fun socks rather than doing a plain vanilla sock so yeah that's what I was planning on doing with that one so that is my last one. 23. Is there anything there that caught your eye or have you knit any of those patterns? Have you got any words of advice for me? What colours did you knit them in? What colours would you like to knit them in in the future? So take care, have a fantastic 2023. Bye for now.